everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in Alabama have developed a new technique for detecting prostate cancer. The technique is called an MRI US fusion guided biopsy. It was developed by professors at the University of Alabama at Birmingham's Department of Urology. It utilizes a combination of magnetic resonance imaging and real-time ultrasound to identify suspicious areas of tissue which are then biopsied to confirm the presence of cancer. MRI US fusion guided biopsies have already been useful in diagnosing patients whose cancer had proven elusive to other detection methods. The National Cancer Institute estimates that 240,000 people will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2014 and 29,000 people will die of the disease. This new technique is the first major advancement in the detection of prostate cancer in 30 years, so it is definitely good news. Next up, researchers in St. Louis have developed a method for converting skin cells into brain cells. This is not the first time scientists have succeeded in transforming one type of cell into another, but previous methods involved a transitional phase, triggering the cell to revert to a stem cell state before transitioning to its final form. This new method, developed at Washington University School of Medicine, uses two molecules of microRNA to reprogram skin cells, transforming them directly into brain cells without passing through a stem cell phase. Specifically, the method converts skin cells into a kind of brain cells called medium spiny neurons, which are the primary cells affected by Huntington's disease. The converted cells behaved like native cells when transplanted into the brain of a mouse. The paper describing this skin cell to brain cell conversion is published in the journal Neuron. Finally, evolution is generally a slow, gradual process that is difficult to directly observe, but a small green lizard in Florida is providing scientists with their latest reminder that this isn't always the case. The lizard is the green anole, which is native to the southeastern United States. Scientists studying the lizard have documented its rapid evolution over the past 15 years, Driven by competition with an invasive species from Cuba called the brown anole, the green anole has evolved feet with larger toe pads and more sticky scales, enabling it to climb higher and higher in trees. If that seems like a minor alteration, the researchers point out that this degree of change in this period of time is analogous to the average human height increasing from 5 foot 9 to 6 foot 4 in only 20 generations. Not only is the green anole an example that evolution can sometimes happen very quickly, it's also an excellent lesson in how evolution works. Brown anoles are known to eat green anole hatchlings, which means young green anoles who are better able to scramble up trees and out of danger are more likely to survive and pass their superior tree scrambling genes onto their offspring. The study of the green anoles rapid evolution conducted by researchers at the College of Natural Sciences at the University of Texas at Austin is published in the journal Science. A new screening method for prostate cancer is developed. Skin cells are reprogrammed directly into brain cells, and a little green lizard in Florida is showing scientists just how quickly a species can evolve with the right motivation. That's the good news. That lizard still isn't as highly evolved as you, though, is it?